Kirkade Willis cascade is a degenerative cascade that tells us why exactly and how exactly the degeneration happens that impacts the spine overall. So we consider a, a segment of the spine. A segment is two vertebral bodies and the disc space. So these two vertebral bodies and the disc space in between would form the segment. So these are considered to be a three joint complex. What is a three joint complex? So one of the joints is a disc and the other posterior joints are basically the facetal areas. So whenever there is a, a circumferential tear in the disc and a radial tear in the disc, that will cause the herniation. And there it can be internal disruption also without things coming out, which causes the loss in the disc height. This loss in disc height can contribute to something that is the instability in the spine. Similarly, the posterior joints that are present, there is a lot of synovial reaction because these are synovial joints that happens. The cartilage gets disrupted. Followed by that is the osteophyte formation. The capsule laxity is there, which adds to the instability. So loss of the disc height and the capsular laxity contribute to the instability. Now these, as they contribute to the instability, the subluxation happens. Subluxation is the displacement of the bone one above the other. And there is a resorption of the disc space as well. So as the disc space is reduced, the bones come closer to each other. As they come closer to each other, this is a nerve that is coming out. Now, since the disc space was there naturally this inside, and as it is coming closer to each other, because of the disruption, this nerve got entrapped. Similarly, because of the instability as the bones slide on each other because of subluxation, that was the additive effect of the nerve entrapment. So the articular processes get enlarged in size and also the laminae. Osteophytes form at the back of the vertebral bodies, which cause the central stenosis. So overall, the lamina and the osteophytes that form at the back of the vertebral bodies would be contributing to the central stenosis. Effect of recurrent strain at the level above and below the original lesion would cause the multi-level degenerative lesion and the multi-level spinal stenosis. So this overall is Kirkadevillis cascade, wherein a problem in one of the levels can cause a problem to be spread wide apart, causing the multi-level degenerative lesion as well. So remember that a segment complex would be a three-joint complex. One is a disc space. And uh, the facetal joints is a pair. Hence, it is a three-joint complex. Two facet joints and one disc space would contribute to the three-joint complex. And overall, when both of these elements are degenerated, that contributes to the development of stenosis.